Hi, this is Matthew Cratter from Trader University. And today I want to talk about eight ways, eight different ways to invest $1,000 in 2020. We're at the end of the year in 2019, so I thought it'd be a good time to sort of get all the best investment ideas right in one place. And if you guys have more ideas, please uh, share them in the comments below. If you're interested in uh, dividend investing, Warren Buffett, swing trading, momentum stocks, day trading, any of these things, be sure to hit that subscribe button too so you can keep up to date with my trading strategies and what I'm trading. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, I should say that these are not, this. none of this should be interpreted as an investment advice. And I'm also going to assume uh, if you're investing $1,000 or $100 or $10,000 or $100,000, I'm going to assume that you first pay off your high-yielding uh, credit card debt and that you have an emergency fund, maybe Google high-yield savings account, and build up that cash emergency fund. You know, three to six months is the, uh, is the typical advice. But assuming you've taken care of those things, let's jump right into the ideas. So idea number one is a basket of restaurant stocks. And I would include Chipotle, CMG, uh, Starbucks, SBUX, McDonald's, MCD, Domino's, uh, Domino's Pizza, DPZ, and um, I guess they're just uh, just four of them actually. Uh, but what you can do if you choose this option is you can sort of take the thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars, divide it into into four pieces, and. Uh, and buy Chipotle, Starbucks, McDonald's, and Domino's. I think these these are obviously big blue chip companies, but I think they still have a very long uh, long runway. Idea number two would be a basket of uh, one Fang stock and a couple of software names. So the Fang stock would be Google, uh, just breaking out to multi year highs here. They have so many ways that they can win. They have so many side projects from quantum computing to self driven cars to uh, just doing what they do best, which is selling selling ads and um, cataloging the world's information. Google, uh, Shopify, real leader in the uh, e-commerce space. That's S-H-O-P, really been bought on the dips here. And I think this is another one that could just continue to run for multi-years. Uh, A-N-S-S, uh, Ansys, another uh, software company, and then A-D-S-K, Autodesk, uh, another, t another tech company. You know, this is a nice basket. You can throw in a couple other Fang names there. There's, of course, there's Apple and Netflix and um, Amazon. But sort of this tech, I would say this would be the uh, tech basket option. The next one is obviously tech related, and that's the semis, which we've been talking about for a long time. Just They just keep going and going and going, uh, doing really well here, especially the news of a, of a possible uh, China deal. Uh, so you, SMH would be the semi uh, ETF. If you want individual names, my two favorite are Cirrus Logic, C R U S, which been, we've been talking about for, your few, for a few weeks here, and T E R, Teradyne, would be another one uh, in this space. So that would be the uh, the semi space. The next space is uh, two two ETFs, I B B, which is a biotech ETF. This is something with the aging demographics and all the uh, the new uh, technological breakthroughs. This is a great ETF, really, for the long term. IBB and its twin, which is IHI, uh, medical devices. So those are two ETFs, and within those, there are two stocks I especially like, which is Exact Sciences, E X A S, and they have a um, they have a test that does at home stool testing for to to uh, detect colorectal cancers. It's called Cologuard. Uh, this is a very interesting company to keep an eye on. Uh, very volatile. It's risky, uh, but they seem to be uh, doing everything right. That'd be EXAS. Another one in this in this basket would be ISRG, uh, Intuitive Surgical, who make uh, they do like robot assistance for surgeries. Um, and for those of you who are doctors or surgeons, you probably already know about this company. Very interesting company trading at uh, close to new highs here. That's ISRG. So that would be sort of our biotech medical devices basket. Uh, what is next? Next would be next would be a couple of things that we're interested in in the face of conti continued uh, Fed, central bank, uh, money printing. 
Obviously, real estate will benefit from that. But really, as the currency gets debased, as fiat currency, both the US dollar and other world fiat currencies get debased, gold should continue to do quite well, especially over the coming decade. Uh, one way to play this is GLD, which is the, uh, uh, the investment trust where you're basically, uh, you have exposure to the underlying metal. And then there are a couple mining companies. Newmont is a big one. Uh, NEM, is it Barrick? Um, Barrick, G-O-L-D. And finally, probably my favorite gold stock we've talked about a few times before is Kirkland Lake, KL, uh, recovering nicely here after uh, taking a bit of a breather. Now, on the other side of... Uh, if you want to talk about sort of digital gold, Bitcoin still just a massive, massive bull on Bitcoin. Uh, I would encourage you to watch all my other YouTube videos on it if you want to really have my take on it. Uh, it's currently trading about 7,200. This could easily see 100,000 by the end of 2020, certainly by the end of 2021. If you want to dig a little bit more into it, just Google Bitcoin stock to flow. And the first, um, the first result should be digitalic. And if you go here, you can see the, uh, the stock to flow model and how it influences uh, Bitcoin price. And this is a model that's predicting uh, 100,000 on Bitcoin by the end of 2021. Uh, I believe it's 400,000 per Bitcoin uh, by 2024 and three or four million by 2028. Um, very interesting, interesting model. So I sort of put these in the same basket, Bitcoin, gold. Uh, I certainly like Bitcoin has much more upside and is subject to less government manipulation uh, than gold. So those would be sort of the uh, our hedges against currency, currency depreciation, uh, gold and Bitcoin. Finally, uh, finally another uh, another ETF that we talked about a little bit, NOBL. These are the S and P 500 dividend aristocrats. Great way to get current income and also own uh, the. Uh, all the companies in the S&P 500 that have been raising their dividends for uh, 25 years or more. A lot of great names in here. It's a really easy way to just buy the basket. Um, N-O-B-L, as in uh, noble or di dividend aristocrats. Finally, uh, two retail stocks that have just been, been killing it and um, just uh, Nike, N-K-E, and uh, Lululemon. These would be... Uh, these would be two that seem to have figured out retail and really are in the cutting edge of sort of where technology meets fashion. If you have some other names you're interested in uh, that you're watching and are either really bullish on or really bearish on for 2020, any sort of economic predictions, anything like that, please drop them in the comments below. And uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done it already. Hit that like button and also let me know in the comments what you'd like me to make uh, my next YouTube video about. Have a great Christmas, have a happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, and I will uh, see you all soon in the next video.